hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video a brand new episode of challenge 360 the series in which i'm on the journey to collecting every single xbox 360 pal game well today's a bit different i've already done the hunting i did the hunting about a week ago actually um but i've not been out since uh so because I wasn't anticipating on making this into a video, I didn't record it. But I've got quite a few Xbox 360 bits in here. So I'll basically show you everything I picked up. So in total, I got, I think I got over 10 games, I think. Uh, that's the bag empty. Oh, that's a manual. In the end, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Nine games in total. Six came from a chat. No, five came from a charity shop. One came from cash converters, and three came from CEX. So I'm not keeping all of these. A couple are being traded in. But the rest are going into the collection, which I'm drastically running out of room for. The only space I've got is behind that tiny little bit of my Bioshock 2. And I have got some piles of games here that can't be put away. But let's show you what I got. We'll start off with the charity shop pickups first. Then move on to the cash converter pickup and finishing off with the CEX pickups. So, four, get five games I got from CEX. Not CEX, the charity shop, it was an, an Emmaus. These two, I think I'm trading in. But the rest are being, no, three I'm trading in. Uh, and the rest are being kept. So, starting off with the ones I'm keeping, these were all 50p. Uh, we have, Payday 2. Uh, I don't actually own a Payday game, I don't believe. Uh, yeah, pick this up. The disc is in pretty decent condition. There are a couple scratches, but not enough that I don't see why it wouldn't work. Next is a game series I did not know existed. Uh, this game being Blazing Angels Squadrons of World War 2. Uh, I'm assuming this is some form of fighting plane game. Uh, again, I don't really know much about it, but for 50p, it was one I didn't have. And moving on to the three games I am trading in. We have FIFA 16. Obviously, I, I have most of the FIFAs now on the 360. This one being one I've had for many years. Uh, disc is in decent condition again, not too shabby. This one, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm going to trade it in or not because it'll certainly be an upgrade on my disc. But I'm not that bothered if my disc doesn't work at the minute. That game being Minecraft. This for 50p was not shabby at all. Initially, there was no prices on these. I was only going to pick this one up just in case because I got some other stuff which were pretty good as well. I was only going to pick these three things up at the side of me and Minecraft, but when he said 50p each, I was like, okay, I'll get some other games. And finally, the last game I'm trading in is not what I have. I pro I was planning on keeping it, but the, the spine of it is pretty knackered, knackered, so I don't think I'm going to keep it. That being Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Obviously, everyone is aware of how much I hate this game. But I don't have it yet. But as you can see, the spine is... Considering I face all my all my games are spine outwards, they have to have a good spine. And this one looks like it's been in the tumble dryer. So, not too shabby. £2.50 for all of these. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the trading value is. I think it's like... I think this is like maybe five pounds worth of trading, which isn't too shabby. Moving on to the singular C, not CEX. Why do I keep saying CEX? Cash converters. 
we have a game I picked up for 10p and that is FIFA 07. I don't actually have this FIFA 07. Um, now all I need are the World Cup ones and FIFA 19 and FIFA 08. So marking this one off is very good indeed. The manual is a bit creased inside, but it's a FIFA manual. It's not that big of a deal. And finally, the games I actually did get from CEX. I got three in total, totaling to £10 and 50 pence. We have... 007 Bloodstone, um, I would like all the James Bond games on the 360, I've got quite a few now, I have three, I'm not sure how many there are, I think four or five, but yeah, this one I almost picked up a couple weeks ago, but it was a reprinted cover and I saw they had another one in and I was like, oh, oh, I'm gonna pick that one up, it is complete, of course, manual is in fantastic condition, and the disc is just, it's a little bit dirty. It could do with a little clean. Um, next, I bought this game due to a comment I got on the last uh, pro, uh, Challenge 360. Um, Brad Draws said, Bolt is better than Spider-Man Web of Shadows, to which I responded with, no, Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked is better. And I can't remember who it was. Someone said, no, Kung Fu Panda is the best. So I bought Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, it is an Activision game. I play a few. I like the Activision games, the kids games. I love kids games. It's me. I love movie games. So this will be what I certainly play. I think I'll play them all when I do get them all. I think, is there two or three? Um kung fu panda games on the 360 and finally the last game i got is a racing game and it's one i've never seen before and it's moto gp 08 cost me one pound 50 so not too shabby at all not giving it a go yet but it's a racing game and i'd not i don't tend to play motorcycle and racing games oh dear i dropped them all on the floor um, I tend to just stick with cars, although in Mario Kart I am always on a motorbike. So yeah, and last but not least, the three big finds, big finds for me because I was in desperate need of one of these. I ended up picking up three, three Xbox 360 controllers for £4 each. Uh, this was at the charity shop, really happy with this. They're all in great condition, they're all legit, and yeah, I'm definitely keeping one, I might keep two, but one is certainly being traded in for a nice little bit of credit. I think I might be able to get £10 credit on it, I think, but as I said, they are in great condition. They've actually got batteries inside them, but the batteries uh, are relatively new, I think, because they don't expire for another four years. I'm not sure what the expiry date is like on Xbox uh, on batteries, but considering there's still another four years on this battery life, kind of tells me they're relatively new, meaning these should all work. Or they don't, which is why the guy never took the batteries out. But yeah, I've not. I'm still yet to try, test these out. I've not actually been on my 360. But yeah. I'm happy with what I got, actually. Um, again, I've not counted how many games I want. I think I'm now on around the 184. I think, again, it'll be here. Um, yeah, so that's everything I got. I think in total, I spent 12, 50, 12 pounds, 60. I spent £24.60, so yeah, just shy of £25, not too shabby whatsoever, but yeah, let me know what you think about the games I got, obviously everyone likes Minecraft, or well you should, it's Minecraft, but yeah, that is everything I got today. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you did, remember to like, comment and subscribe. And in the description down below, there will be a link to my Discord, my 
Twitch, my TikTok, my Instagram and my, did I say TikTok? Well, there'll be that and also be a link if you would like to become a channel member where I post exclusive videos of beating the backlog. So yeah, that is all for today. Again, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all on Sunday for my August pickup videos because that will be September then. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you then.